Yo, what up, guys? It's boy Kimbo here, and it's time for an epic, epic unboxing from eBay. So, let's see what we got. I can get it out of there. Oh! Yo. It's a Bakugan set. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. The hype. Oh, dude, it's this one. Okay. So, we've got the awesome Bakugan Armored Alliance Ventus Arliss Pharaoh X Gilator Ultra Darkest uh, Arliss Pegatrix X Gorine Ultra Baku Gear Pack, man. So, so sick. This thing looks absolutely amazing. Like, check out this Pharaoh and Gilator. And plus, Pegatrix and Gorine and Darkest. You know, I'm a big fan of Darkest and Arliss. I love that combo so much. All the black with the gold and such. So amazing, man. But, yeah, plus the Baku gear with it. Just so, so sick, dude. And then we got, um, looks like uh, Ventus, Aquas, and Pyrus, Darkest Baku God with this. So, yeah, full out fusion theme for this thing, man. So, let's see. Pharaoh, Gilator, Package Goring, Maxotar, Zentar, dude! Oh, this is the first one I've actually gotten, man, besides the Deca. Um, and uh, Pyrus, Darkest, Hydrus, X, Batrix, man. That's going to be sick. All right, so... Obviously got uh the ultras, Baku Gear, Bakugan, two cores, uh character card, ability card, all that all that other crap, you know. So without further ado, let's get into it, man. Alright, let's see. I gotta get the tape off here. This might take a little bit. Alright, man, let's get into it. Let's see, I think I got a good chunk of the, the tape off. Should be good, hopefully. Or not. You know, I might I might just reptar it. Just just a little bit. <laughs> Alright, there you go. And A, okay, got it. Cards. Ah, the frick. Unless I just eat the cards, you know. Right, boom, boom. Ah, plastic strips. Oh man, all the paint on it already, dude. All right, and I like Pegatrix Goreen's uh, design big time because of how much paint they use for it. Just looks so good. Boom. Boom. All right, man. So, let's get into it. Gotta get the cards out, of course. There we go. Okay. So, let's see. I'll, why not? I'll check out the sheet, just because this is definitely... Uh, newer wave, you know. I'm guessing this is like the last wave for Armored Alliance, at least Baku, uh, you know, Baku gear pack-wise. Alright, so let's see all the different factions that are here. Um, it looks like, yo, this is a Ventus. Ventus, Arliss, Sabrax, Pyravian. Dude, I wonder. That might be in like the last wave of three packs or something, but that's that's sick. Alright. Um, Let's see here. Maxitar Zentar, we got to see definitely more. I think it's with this last wave. Same thing with Cyndia, Scorpros, and Clockdor, Apollyon, because we haven't seen them uh, that much. So they probably saved them for like this very last wave. Um, and also Core Pegatrix, like Zgorian. I wonder how you get that. That's sick. That looks really cool. Um, you know, as a core, it looks really sick. But yeah, man, there's still like all the background are here, but just like some of them are missing in certain uh, factions. Some of them are just not being seen that much, at least the current moment. So. Definitely just fills in the last of the pieces for the season. All right. So all these cores, man. Let's see what we got. All right. So we got a regular fist. Uh, plus 100. Pirates and Dark is getting plus 3. That's a that's definitely a nice one. Magic Shield plus 650. That is amazing. Always nice getting one of those. Um, Shield Fusion plus 500. Okay. That's a nice one. Fusion plus 8 for the Flame Fist. Got another Shield plus 200. Fusion back around getting another plus 200, man. So getting up to 400. Uh... Fusion Bakugan getting plus 800 with that magic shield. That's crazy. Like I said, these crazy B-Power cores are one of the things that balance uh, the game big time. You know, don't sleep on fusions. Uh, plus three and uh, one cost less for Baku gear. And then plus 300 and one less for Baku gear. I think this is the best shield, man. Don't see these like too, too often. That's, that's great, man. They were saying something about like with the, you know, with the pro distribution going up and such with uh even like the blind boxes that they're gonna put like good cores in and such with them because they're meant to be like big time competitive so i'm, I'm so hyped man i'm so hyped for the 
you know, for the LGS support and distribution and such. Definitely just want to see it go through because I'm I'm really excited about it, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing if it does go through. But uh, yeah, I guess first things first, we'll get into uh, why not Pegatrix Gorine. Uh, first of all, it just looks so amazing in darkest. All of the purple on the horn, the green in the eye, and also on the jaw. The gold on the shoulders looks so sick, man. Then obviously this point that goes up there, you can see the part of Gorine, like the eye of Gorine. Um, and then all the gold on the wings and the tail. It looks really sick in chaos, and it's gonna, and it just looks so awesome in darkest, man. It looks really, really great. But yeah, and then obviously the back legs just looking like flying around, pretty sick. But uh, yeah, let's see. B power is five hundred. Oh man, I mean, if it gets a magic shield, it's breaking a thousand. So, you know, I mean, if it gets one, that'll be nice. All right, so gotta close it up. Let's see, legs in. Well. Pegatrix Gorine is a little bit of a tricky one. Let's see. Fold these in. There we go. Fold those legs in. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Just got to get it the right way. There we go. Got one of them. And boom. No? Yeah, there we go. And then the wings. Then head. Then tail. Almost. Almost, man. I almost got it. Okay. And then... Other tail. I think I got it. Close, at least. I think so. Yeah, man. Check it out. All right. So, oh, I think the leg might be in, like, a little bit. Let's see. All right. There we go. Just had to adjust uh, the leg a little bit. But, yeah, man. Darkest Arliss Pegatrix X Gorine Ultra. It looks so sick, man. All the black with the gold. Absolutely love it. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Yeah. Anyways. All right. So, now, we've got Feral... Exgillator Ultra. Dude, all the green on the legs, I love how much it sticks out. Like, the main thing for it is just, like, the legs being a different color. But it looks so sick with the Ventus, you know, with all of the green right there. It looks so, so cool. Um, But then, of course, the Ultra design for Feral and then this long body of Gillator and such. Just so, so sick. All the green on the stripe on the back. And then the gold looks so great, man. Ventus, Arliss. So, so sick. All right, let's see. It's B-Power's 400. Hopefully, they gave a good course. Because, like, with Feral, they haven't given it, like, the craziest amount of course. I'm not sure why. I mean, like, they could just give it higher cost or something. But, you know. Anyways, see here. Gotta lean back. And lean back. And lean back. Mm, and lean back. Anyways, uh, then legs in. Wings in. And then the feet gotta go back to see here. Do -do. If, I can, if I can get them. There we go. Okay. And then the tail. I think I might... Yeah, I should have put the tail in first and then the wings. Got to do that. All right. Or... No. Okay. Got it. Just clip forward and there it is, man. Ventus Arliss Feral X Gillator Ultra. Looking so awesome, man. Just looks so good in the buff. I definitely dig the green because it just pops so much with the gold and such. All right. Now... Time for the course. So we're going to get into Hydra's Batrix first. You know, obviously just saving like the one I haven't gone into before for last. So here we go. Boom. There we go, man. So Hydra's X Batrix. And it's strong enough to pick up two cores. That's something that should be noted big time. I wonder. Uh, well, it's not going to pick up three. But if, like if it pins another one under, you can pick up three. That will be wild, though, if you get that, man. That would be an insane play. But it is strong enough to pick up two cores that showed right there, especially moving it around. Like, it's good. All right. So, got to check it out. Pyrus and Dark is definitely dig the purple streak. Um, All the orange for the mane and then the little red head. Um, then got the arms right there. Just a little stubby body. <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, the black on the wings, it looks so sick, man. So Pyrus and Darkest. And it's got a B power of 400. So, I mean, if any of them get, like, a magic shield, they're breaking 1,000. So that's honestly pretty nice to see. Um, but yeah. All right, so got to close it up. Switch these back. Head in, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and tail. Boom. And there we go, man. Pyrus, Darkest, Hydrus, X, Batrix. It looks so sick, man. Now, last but not least... After I fix that core, we've got Maxotar Zentar. Crazy, crazy combo, man. And honestly, this is a little spoiler for the show, I guess. Like, sorry, I'm just going to say it, but. Uh, Ebony actually has this. 
Ebony, Ebony the cat has this in the show. It's wild, dude. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm going to make a video about that. You already know. Got to have a discussion video. I got to have a few discussion videos. Um, But yeah, dude, just check it out. All of the green with the orange, green and orange looking so sick, that combo. And then you got some sky blue on the tail. And then the green down there for the body of uh, Zentar. And then you can see the horns of Maxotar right there. The green with the sky blue. The orange for uh, the dots on the plate, on the front chest plate. So sick, man. But, yeah. Uh, Ventus and Aquas. Now let's get into that opening action, man. Here we go. Oh, man. Okay. Boom. Well, wow. That was, <laughs> that was basically a drop. Nah. I gotta get that roll out. Come on. And oh, I'll just okay, spun the other way. I got a couple mats under this, so you know, I love it because it makes it where I gotta really practice the rolls that much more because like there's small little ripples in it, but yeah, anyways, there it is, man. Maxotar Zentar, like you can see Zentar's body, and then obviously the giant body of Maxotar. Um, just so wild, man. Imagine this thing running at you like a crazy, like Minotaur bull, like. Bro, nah, <laughs> I'm getting out of dodge. It's B Power's 200, though, so that's definitely uh down there. Maybe they gave it a bunch of damage, because, I mean, the main thing they did with Zentar is made it more for, like, damage decks and gave it a lot of uh damage, you know. So, yeah, but it does look really, really sick, man. All the legs and then the arms sticking out, just sticking straight up. Kind of look like wings a little bit, but, you know, but you can see, like, the blades and such right there. Um, And then all the green, the lime green on the jaw and the horns. Looks really, really sick, dude. All right. So, head in, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, basically. <laughs> I know it's saying a lot, but, you know. There it is, man. Aquas Inventus, Maxotar X Zentar. It looks so sick, man. I definitely dig the design for it. Can't wait to see the actual uh, art for it. So, now we got the cards. All right. Pegatrix and Goreen Ultra. Actually, you know what? I'll get into... Yeah. I'll get into uh, the fusions after, like, the regular cards. So, let's see. Got to see some Shields of Astroia cards, man. Flip Strike, three costs plus 700. That's pretty nice. Um, put that in the back. <laughs> Unholy Bow, uh, two costs uh, 101. And then one for the Shield. So, that's one less damage when you're taking damage. Like a Bakugan that loses holding it, takes damage. Uh, yo, Mag Magmagon? Yo, that's sick. Magmagon. All right. Plus 1,200, six cost. Big time Hard hitting card that could definitely be useful. Um, scorching swords two cost uh, plus a shadow strike plus hundred plus one. And then we got the fusions, man. So Hydrus Batrix four hundred and four. If it lands on a flame fist, it gets its fusion. That is a nice. That is honestly really nice. Um, only seen that like once before with a Bakugan, so it's definitely nice seeing that. But let's see that fusion six hundred and six though. So it doesn't go up like crazy, but you know, I mean, it can get like eight fifty and nine. You know, but still, that's a pretty cool fusion. But yeah, and imagine like it manages to actually get uh I mean the turn after you get it with the fusion if you win. Like, holy crap. Or imagine you roll it out and you get like the flame fist, but also like get a <laughs> like a magic shield with it and it's a fusion one. That would be nuts, dude. That was a that would be a crazy play. But the artwork for this thing looks so sick. I definitely like the red in the main and also on the body. It looks so cool. Pyrus Darkest, Hydrus X Bad Tricks, man. Looking so sick. Alright, so then we got uh Maxotar and Zentar. 205 if it lands on a magic shield it gets its fusion that's a big one honestly because it's got the magic shield with it it's breaking a thousand you put that magic yeah you put that magic shield in there that makes it very very useful a thousand and five you can get up to and then it gets that 407 looks so sick dude so yeah you're talking 1207 right away with it before playing cards that's that's pretty strong so this maxotar zentar is gonna be pretty good like that's something i love about the fusions man just the core is really really balanced it it balance it big time um and then we got pegatrix and goreen ultra if it lands on a shield it gets plus five but it's 501 so uh 900 what 906 so almost breaking a thousand and six for its fusion and it goes up to, ooh, it goes up to 1,202, and it lands on a shield that gets plus 10. So 1,212, six costs. It's not too, too bad, man. Uh, yeah. Plus, that artwork looks so sick. Then we got Feral and Gilator Ultra. Yo, okay, 404, 
and it gets a magic shield. Heck yeah. Okay, so it's getting it's breaking a thousand. Nice man. Because I've always liked like Pharaoh and Gilator's design. They just haven't given them like the craziest core setups or anything. But this one has a pretty good one. Um, so it can break a thousand, like a thousand fifty and four, five for its fusion, which isn't too bad. And eleven hundred and eighty. Oh, dude. Okay. So yeah, seventeen fifty and eight. It's getting up to with that. That's that's pretty nice, honestly. So yeah, plus just the Ventus and Arliss, man. Absolutely love these full art cards. Definitely hope they do them big time for uh, like the future ways of the TCG. Cause that's one thing I love. Like even just looking at like Pokemon card unboxing. Cause I do look at like card openings. Cause they're just so fun. I watch a lot of Leon Hearts, honestly. <laughs> But I just absolutely love the full art. All right, man. Let's get into the opening action. All right. Three, two, one. And back on Brawl. Hey, perfect, man. Perfect stand with that. And oh, yo, the bag spin. And also a perfect stand. That was sick. All right. These two are awesome. They're so awesome. I dug the design of both of them for sure. Like, I just love the Ventus on the legs of Feral. And then Pegatrix, Goreen, and Darkest looks so awesome. But... Yeah, dude. Both their opening actions. So, so sick. But, yeah, man. That's basically it for this review on this absolutely awesome Bakugan Armored Alliance. Uh, Pharaoh x Gilator, Pegatrix x Goreen, Bakugir pack. I guess we'll call it that to save time. But, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So, before I go, real quick, I obviously got to look at the Bakugan. I'm not one that uses like the Bakugan like crazy in actual decks, but they do make the Bakugan look that much better, man, filling in those details. So, I don't know the actual name of it, um, but I don't know if it is the, uh, the Silent Spears. But, yeah, regardless, it looks really, really sick. So, of course, got to pop it on there. Boom. And I just put it the wrong way, but it's all good. All right, I'll do it one more time. <laughs> Blooper reel. Anyways, all right, three, two, one, boom. Hey, check it out. It might be the Silent Spears, but still. Just looks so sick, man. I mean, somebody can let me know what it is in the comments. Um, and then, obviously, got the front part. The peg's right there. And just attach them. But, I mean, it looks just like how it does on, uh, you know, on the box art. So, just so, so cool, man. I really love how the box gear just really fill in the details, you know. And at least, like, with the, uh, I know I'm dragging on a little bit, but at least with, you know, the new boxes they have, like the boxes with the pro sets and stuff, uh, they're a little bit bigger. So, you might be able to even fit some Baku gear in uh, with the deck and the Bakugan, too. So, that is honestly really, really nice. Definitely props to Spin Master for that. But, yeah, and also making custom boxes. Finally, man. Freaking love it. But, anyways, guys, hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So, yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Until then, stay awesome. And Bakugan, bro, I'm about to here.